What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm here with Victor. And Victor actually commissioned this since he rides the SL Express in real life on his commute on the quiet car, which is right here. So this is an American high-speed passenger train. It's manufactured by Bombardier and Alstom. The Acela is a rail service on the Northeast Corridor from Boston to Washington, D.C., passing through New York City, Philadelphia, and Baltimore. But soon they will be replaced by the Avalia Liberty, which I also did a video on. So it's a pretty substantial train set. There are six intermediate cars and two end cars. So that's a total of eight cars. So let's go check out the train. So first off, we have the end car. And both the end cars are pretty much the same thing. We got vents here on the side and this top vent. And this is the way you can tell between the two sides. And by the way, I recently got an HO scale model of the Acela. So, you know, it helped a lot in building this actually, figuring out where things are. Here's the, like the front cockpit. We got the windshield wipers, the Amtrak logo right here. And they got this like weird uh, pattern that they're doing for the metal. It's like a lighter shade here in the front, which I implemented the road number up here. And this is road number on the side. Uh, we got like the bogey designs and it's a ladder to climb up into the cap. Got some roof detail right here and we got the pantograph. One is folded down and we got the sellout logo. And here is the gangway in between. And uh, the first car here is actually a business class end car. Now there's actually three types of business class cars that I've built for this train and you'll see them right here. And the first one is going to be the end car. Now the way you can tell it's an end car is that it does not have a door on both ends. So no door right there. Well, if you look at this other business class car, there is a door at the end. So that's a way you can tell. And it's also going to be like right close to the end of the train right there. And you'll notice the same thing if we go to the first class car. There's like uh, no door on that side as well. Uh, but here you can see the side detail. We got the, these blue blobs. They actually call it mobiles. Uh, we got some windows right here. Uh, they're fairly large and, you know, the blue blobs everywhere. The blobs are different on that end at least. And here's what it looks like on the other side. Amtrak logo here in the middle. And the top parts, uh, we got some AC units and they are spaced differently. There's also this antenna on top. All right, so the next car, this is going to be, I guess, your standard business class cars. And uh, yeah, it's very similar to the other car. And here's what it looks like on this side. And then, then we get to the cafe car. And this is like a restaurant car in the middle. So, you know, there's a lot of empty space right here. Got a giant blue mobile. And they got a different color here as well. And some windows. And there's a lot of antenna detail on the top. And these are just getting cellular mobile network data getting inside the car. Uh, and then distributing it with Wi-Fi. Uh, here's a look at the other side. There's a lot more windows on this side. And then this car, I believe this is going to be another business class car. It's just like uh, probably rotate the other way around. You know, when I place these uh, business class cars, they rotate depending on which way it is. And the easiest way to tell them apart is just like the distance uh, to the edge for the AC unit. You see there's like a shorter side and the longer side. So you can see uh, if you go throughout the car, uh, they're gonna be different lengths. So that's the way you can tell which way you're gonna place it. And then next up, we have the business class quiet car. Now this is basically the same thing as the business class car. All they did was add in this yellow uh, blip on top of the doorway. It's like a little sign. You're supposed to be uh, quiet in this car. No talking really loudly. And this is the car that Victor actually travels on. All right, so after the business class car, we have the first class end car. This is a lot different from the business class cars because their uh, blue is like a different hue or shade rather. And this is going to be close to the end. Like I said, there's going to be no door on one end of this. Here's a look at the other side, what it looks like. And then towards the end, we have the locomotive again, the end car. And same thing as the front, just rotate the other way. So this is definitely a very popular request to do to update design that I did back in 2016. One of my first trains I've ever built for my Crafty Fox channel originally. So here's what the design looks like before. Back then I had a real hard time uh, getting the colors right for metal because it shines in light. So I thought it was brighter than it actually was. So you can see the difference. Uh, this one is a lot more metallic looking while this one's like it's almost white. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of differences. You could tell it's one of my older trains too because it has these old hopper wheels. Uh, which I do now have more realistic looking wheels. Definitely the evolution into design. If you want to pause the video, look 
even the size of the fence. And especially because they have an HO scale model, it's uh, helped a lot as well. And see all the roof detail changed because we had those antennas on top. This video is only made possible by Victor. If you guys would like to see more of these builds and support the channel, consider doing a build commission where you can pay me to build something in Minecraft. The first commissions are just $50. Link in the description. But yeah, let's get started on this tutorial. So first off, we'll be building uh, the locomotive. And then later off, I'll be making a base model for all the cars. All right, so first off, let's grab some materials. So we're going to take out an inside block. Inside stairs, wall, deep slate, brick slab, and stairs, gray concrete, uh, polished diorite slab, and stairs. So first off, we're going to place down um, two blocks above the track and inside block like this. And inside stairs to the sides of it. And inside block next to it. Inside wall. And then we'll add in a polished diorite slab on top. And then a stairs diagonally to the side. And then polish diorite slab again right there. And then down below we'll add in uh, deep slate brick slabs. We'll make two like that. And one down here in the middle. And then upside down here on the side facing towards the front. Then I'm going to add in a deep slate brick um, block here and then three slabs to the side. Then we'll add in a gray concrete right here. Upside down deep slate brick stairs. And deep slate brick slab and make that two blocks long. Skip a block gray concrete here. And upside down deep slate brick stairs. Next we'll add in hoppers sides of the wheels. And dark oak fence gates open up towards each of them. Then in the middle we'll add in polished blackstone brick walls two blocks wide. And then deep slate brick blocks, two blocks wide each side. And then towards the front, we're going to add in two gray concretes. So it's going to be one, two, and then a cyan terracotta. And this is for the headlight at the bottom. So we're going to add in upside down andesite stairs right there. And then we'll add in three polished andesite slabs. So one, two, three. And then we'll skip a block, we'll add in four. One, two, three, four. Then we'll add in inside block three blocks long. So one, two, three. And then we'll add in upside down polished blackstone stairs right here. Uh, birch sign right here. Birch fence gate underneath. Open that up. Dark oak trap door right there. Then we'll add in. Um, to the side of this uh, polished diorite block right there. And then upside down polished diorite stairs. And then polished diorite slab. Then in the middle we'll add in two lapis azulis. One, two. Then we'll add in a birch fence gate in the middle. Open that up. And then a stone button right there. Then on top we'll add in a lever facing towards the outside like that. Then two gray concretes inside block here in the middle. And then we'll add upside down warp stairs here. Deep slate brick wall here in the middle. A gray carpet here and then a gray stained glass pane there. And then a gray concrete behind this. Then um, in the middle we'll add in two black stained glass blocks. And then to the side, we'll add in um, an site slab here, polished diorite block, light blue concrete, and site slab here. And then inside, we'll add in a black concrete, two blocks wide. And then an upside down polished black stone brick stairs facing towards the front. On top, we'll add in a deep slate brick stairs, and then two slabs in the front. Then two gray concretes, another gray concrete on the side of this, and then we'll add in dark oak signs, two of them here. Then we'll add in this warped uh, slab, one here, and then a polish and a site block on the inside of that. Then we'll add in five polish and a site blocks here. And then on top we'll make an L shape of deep slate brick slabs. 
Then we'll add in um, five warp stair. I mean, <laughs> slabs one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then on top, it's going to be uh, in the middle, polish and site blocks all the way across the rest of the roof. Then we'll add in a uh, blue carpet. It's going to be two blocks long here, and then light gray carpets to the back. And the inside, there's going to be um, a turtle egg. And then two flower plots. And there's also going to be stone buttons. Skip a block and add one right there. All right, next up, we'll add a deep slate brick slab. One here, another one on top. And then polish and slate block. Another one behind the slab. And then we'll add in tough two blocks tall. And we're going to make this whole part that we just made. And we'll do that so it is 11 blocks long. So do that, 11 like that. All right, after that, we're going to add in a 2x2 two two of tough in the front. I mean, the back. And then we'll add in two more in the front, just like that. Fill in the front area with polished and slate blocks. All the way across, just like this. And then we'll add in a stone bun here in the middle of that. And another two above this sign. And then we'll add in iron bars, so it's going to be two of them on each side of this. Birch button here in the middle. Spruce button right here, and then two polished blackstone buttons. And skip three blocks, and then add in two warped buttons like that. Then towards the back, we'll add in a gray concrete here. And then upside down, deep slate brick stairs, and then two deep slate brick slabs. Skip block, gray concrete, upside down, deep slate brick stairs. Hopper sides of the wheels and dark oak fence gate open up towards each of the hoppers. Another dark oak fence gate right here. Dark oak trap door right there. And then deep slate brick slabs um, on the inside of this bogey. And you might as well do it to the front part as well. I mean, you, you won't actually see this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you built it though. No one's got to look underneath. Um. Anyways, we're going to add in deep slate brick blocks. Two blocks here. Skip block, another two. Another two on the inside of this. And then polish blackstone brick walls. Two blocks wide here in the middle of the bogey. And then we'll add in our polish anisite slabs. I'm going to make it four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. Skip a block, add one there. Then we'll add deep slate brick slabs. Four blocks long. One, two, three, four. And four on the top. And then polish anisite blocks on the inside of that. Cross like that. And then four blocks tall on the very edge. Then we'll make the top part five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And then three warp slabs with polish anisites on the inside of that. Then on top, we'll add in another three polish anisites. And then we'll add in this light gray carpet, two blocks long, and then I guess five blue carpets, and then three light gray carpets like that. All right, next we're going to add in polished andesite slabs here. Make it eight blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll go down below, two blocks wide, polished andesite blocks all the way to the edge. And then the back part, we're going to fill this in so it's three blocks wide. All the way across, fill in that uh, back face like that. All right, then on top, we're going to add in a gray candle, um, very edge here, and a side slab, iron trap door here, and then four warped slabs. Then we'll delete this block here, add in polished and side stairs. Then we're going to skip a block and add in another four warped slabs here. And then we're going to add in a flower pot right here, chain, and a mangrove fence, mangrove fence gate, one here, another one dangling up, and then a spruce trap door here, and mangrove fence, make it face outwards, light gray carpets, two blocks wide, and then a mangrove fence gate, open that up over here, another two fence gates right here. And then a spruce shaft door going to be in the middle of this pantograph. And then two more light gray carpets. 
And of course, if you're building this with this uh, power line, uh, you probably can add this middle carpet. All right, so now I'm going to make the SLL logo. So go back here, three blocks tall, polish and site. Then over here, we'll make a two by three polish and site. Um, at the top here, another polish and site. And then we'll add upside down warp stairs. And then light blue concrete inside, another one on the outside. Light blue wall right there, another one inside. And then polish andesite slab here. And polish andesite stairs facing towards the back. And then polish andesite block inside of this. Another one over here, diagonally up. We'll add in a uh, warp stairs like that. A polish andesite slab right here. Polish andesite block down here. And then two lapis lazulis, and then a uh, polished andesite block there, and a light blue wall on the inside of that slab right there. And then over here, we'll add in two more polished andesite blocks like that. All right, so and then we're going to go to the back, and we're going to add in a chain to the side of this. Dark oak fence gate, open it up. Another one down the bottom, in the middle. And then polished blackstone brick slab. Double here and slap to side and slap towards the top. Then three polished blackstone brick walls like that. And then we'll add in a stone button here to the side. And we'll also go to the front. And we're going to move this polished andesite block in one block. And just add in a polished blackstone brick slab towards the top part. And we're also going to add an upside down polished blackstone stairs in that little nook. All right, so that's it for this side. So copy everything we did here and build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves, we're gonna go on this side. We're gonna add in a polish andesite um, slab right here. Daylight like detector, make it blue. Polish deep slate slab underneath and polish andesite block on the inside of that. And the other side, we'll add in polish andesite block and then a warp slab. And we're gonna extend uh, everything that we just built and we're gonna fill in this whole gap here that we made. So I don't know how many blocks that, I think that's like eight blocks. Yeah, eight blocks right here. And it goes on both sides, as you see. Now also we need to add in our light gray carpet going across, um, just like that. Very cool. Then we'll go down here and we're gonna take a polished andesite slab. We're gonna add that on the left and the stairs on the right and the other side, just do it the other way right here. Slab and then stairs. Just like that. All right, so yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to build uh, the locomotive of this train set, the end cars. Now let's go move on and make the intermediate cars by first making a base model for every single one of these cars. And I should note these cars are 40 blocks long, excluding the gangways. All right, so first off, we're gonna take out a polish and site block. I'm going to make a 2x3 right here. Then we'll add in deep slate brick slabs, make another 2x3 here. And then we'll add in deep slate brick uh, blocks, two blocks long. And then two polished blackstone brick blocks. And then deep slate brick slabs again, two blocks long. And then a polish and site block. Then we're going to add in a gray concrete. There'll be one here, the other one here on the other side. The gap of four between. We'll add in dark oak fence gates, open up towards it. Another dark oak fence gate for the axle of the wheels. Then we'll add in polished blackstone slabs all the way across here. Another two here in the middle. Upper sides of the wheels. Then we'll add in two deep slate brick slabs here, in the middle. And then upside down deep slate brick stairs. And then we'll add in upside down deep slate brick stairs facing towards the hoppers. And then deep slate brick slabs two blocks wide right there in the middle. Then above here we'll add in three polished andesite slabs, skip a block, add in two more. Then we'll add in um, upside down polished blackstone stairs just like that. And then we're going to go over here. And we're going to extend this polish and site block. So we're going to make it 
40 blocks long, so 40 that way, and that's gonna be the end of the car. I'm just doing it so you guys can mark out where it is. All right, next we'll add in polish and site block here uh, with uh, end rod, black concrete behind it. And then we want to add polish and site blocks. Three blocks tall here on the side of it. Actually, four blocks tall, two blocks wide in the middle here. And then on the side, we'll add in, uh, it's going to be upside down polish and side stairs facing inside. And two polish and side blocks and then polish and side stairs. It's going to be uh, upside down facing inwards. Just like that. And then we'll add in our um, end site blocks. I'm going to make it two by three. Like that. Then next we'll add in a polish um, end site block here. Black concrete inside. Another brick wall, another brick slab on top. Then next we'll add in deep slate brick slab. We'll make it uh, three blocks long here at the bottom. And 22 blocks long. So extend it out. 22 blocks just like that. Also this top and side block as well. Just like so. Then I'm going to add in um, this uh, polish uh, deep slate slab. So one here. Skip a block two. Skip a block two. Skip a block two. Skip block one. Skip a block one. Skip a block two. Skip block two. And skip one. Add one like that. So that's the basic pattern. And then on top, I think, yeah, we'll just add in um, polish and site block all the way across to the end of it. Doesn't really matter because uh, we're just going to rotate and pull the other side. Uh, we're going to go up to this point, right, the block right after this uh, stairs. Get it inside, add in uh, two blocks tall of black concrete. Like that. And we are going to um, extend it right up into the point uh, where this midsection ends like that. And then on top of it, we'll add in a anisite block. Make it two blocks wide and polish anisite block on the outer edge. And then we're going to extend this. So it also meets out uh, with that edge area. So it should look like that. Very nice. And next, we're to copy um, everything that we did on this end and build it on the other side. So right after this um, midsection is going to be another wheel. And that's sort of where it kind of repeats itself. All right, so once we've done it, it should look like this. Now let's add the things on top, the air conditioner. So let's add in polish insight slab. And that's going to be... Um, Right after this gap here. So it's like a gap of four here, the polish andesite slab, box wide, polish blackstone brick slab here in the middle, and then two polish andesite slabs, and then L shaped polish andesite slabs, polish deep slate slab, and then andesite slab right there. All right, then we're going to uh, skip, I guess, five blocks. So after the fifth block, delete this. Add in a polish and site block and then a flower pot. Then we're to copy uh, this whole entire ace unit. And we're going to be building it on the other side. Now that's going to be different because it's closer to this edge. So we just skip two blocks here and just build it again right like that. And then we're going to add in polish and site blocks all the way across just like that. Same thing on the other side. All the way across the side of the roof. And then next up, we're going to go here, skip a block, add another brick wall, skip three, add another one, skip one, add another one. Then we'll add in black concrete right behind the wall, two blocks tall. All right. All right, next we'll add in deep slate brick slabs, and all in these gaps at the bottom of this. And then we're going to uh, copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once you have both halves, it should look like this. And then towards the end of the car, you add in that end rod with black concrete right um, behind it. Same thing over here. 
don't forget to add it. And we'll also add in this polish and site slab right there. Same thing over here, polish and site slab right in front of that end rod. Actually towards the end, I mean. And for the gangway, it's pretty much the same thing on the other side if you just in case you want to build that one. Alright, next up we'll go here, skip block, nether brick wall, skip three, add another one. And then skip one, add another one. Behind this one, we'll add in two blocks tall, black concrete. All right, next up, we'll add in a two by three of uh, polish and a block here. Two blocks tall, polish and a block here. Uh, polish and a slab here. And then polish and a stairs upside down. And then skip two blocks, add another one upside down. Skip two blocks, another one upside down. And skip two blocks, another one upside down, but this way the other way, other direction. Then we'll skip three facing the other direction this time. Then skip two, add uh, another one facing the opposite direction. And then skip three facing the opposite direction. And then skip two, add another one facing this direction. And then we'll add in um, two um, andesite slabs here. Inside we'll add in black concrete extending towards the polish andesite slab. And we also want to add in polish andesite slabs all the way across this top row. Just like that. Then we'll add in this light gray glass pane. And we're going to add that underneath each of these pillars. And then later we're going to add in this black glass pane. And this is just so it kind of makes it look thicker. So if you look on the original one, there's like another one next to all of them. Just try to make it align up with the pillar on top. So whichever direction that looks best for it, try to do that. All right, so it looks like this. Very nice. And then we'll go here and we'll just make a two by two of polish um, and say blocks like that. All right, then we'll go to where this, you see this antenna is. Go here, the pillar. Go to the one next to it. And right above, we'll add in this spruce bun. So uh, below that, we'll add in a warp button. I'm going to make it two blocks wide, so it kind of looks like it's in the middle. We'll also add in warp buttons on the very edges of the car. Both sides like that. We'll also add in a polished blackstone button right above this window right there. All right, next up, let's go on the other side, and we're going to line up where this vent is. Delete this block. Add in a polished andesite slab right there, and then a polished blackstone brick block on the inside of that for an LED display. Then below that, we'll add in two blocks tall of polished andesite, and we'll make it four blocks long, so one, two, three, four, two blocks tall. That's, and then we'll skip a block, add in upside down polished andesite stairs. And then skip to another one facing the same way like that. And then skip to another one facing that way. Then skip to another one facing the other way. Then we're going to skip three facing that way. And then skip two facing the other way. And then skip three facing the other way. And then skip two facing that same way. And then there's going to be two polish and side slabs. And then we'll add in polished andesite slabs all the way across for the rest of this gap. All the way across, including this part, which we're going to add in this uh, nether brick um, wall right there. All right, then we'll go back over here, we'll add in black concrete, fill in the inside of that. And I think I might turn on my night vision so you guys can see easier. Uh, but we'll do the same thing we did on the other side, making these pillars just so they line up underneath these stairs. Kind of hard to uh, decide where to put these um, pillars because it's not exactly it's a Minecraft, so you have to make it the amount of windows per car. Make it exact. All right. So there we have all the windows like that. Very nice. Where you go right where the antenna is. Go to the pillar right here. Skip that one. Go to the next one. Add in a spruce bun right above it. Or button underneath it and make it two blocks wide like that. 
that's the Amtrak logo. All right, so that is pretty much it for our base car. Now we're going to use this base to make all of the cars. So I'm just going to make a copy later on. All right, so I made some copies right over there for first class and then the cafe car those are going to be different. And for the three business class cars, they're all going to be under this base, which I'll have to modify and make another base. Uh, but when you're actually building this uh, train, make sure you're making it face the right direction. For these, I made them face all the same direction. So you see the spacing with the air conditioners. They're all the same here, but on the actual train, make sure you are going to be building it the right way. So just in case, just take a look at the train, how I built it, well, which side is longer for the air conditioner. All right, so let's get started on the business class car base. So let's go over here to this side and we'll add in a light blue concrete add a 200 diagonal and then add a polish andesite slab here, polish andesite block here, and then a prismarine brick stairs facing that way. And then a polish andesite slab right here. So the slab right above this one. And we'll add a spruce button right above this window right there or the doorway. We'll go over here, line up where this andesite slab is, delete this block, and we'll add in a polished blackstone slab here, polished andesite slab, the outside part, skip a block, and add in a polished blackstone button. All right, then for the other side, we'll add in a light blue concrete here, another one over here, another one down here, another one sticking out here, and then we'll have to delete these two blocks. Add an L-shaped light blue concrete and polish andesite stairs upside down here and make a U-shape at the bottom. Polish andesite slab here. Um, and then there's going to be polish andesite block right here. Light blue concrete. Polish andesite slab right there. And oh yeah, apparently this part does not have warp buttons for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you're adding the warp buttons to all of them, all the edges of the car, I'm not sure why. I'll add a blackstone button right above this singular window like that. And then go over here, punch in these two holes, add a light blue concrete to our diagonal, and then a polish and a side stairs like that. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it for our base model for the business class car. Now I'm gonna copy it so I have another one right here for the end business car. So for the end business car, we're gonna have to delete this doorway. So delete this. And instead, we'll add in a light blue concrete here. Upside down, polish and side stairs. Polish and side block right there. Delete these two to uh, light blue concretes and then do polish andesite slabs like that. And then on the other side, we'll also delete this doorway. Add a two by two polish andesite block, light blue concrete, polish andesite block on top, two light blue concretes at the bottom, and then polish andesite stairs and polish andesite slab like that. And then uh, Blackstone button right at the top part right there. Then for the other side, we're gonna go over to this window and delete these two blocks, add in light blue concrete inside, uh, polish andesite slab, and then upside down polish andesite stairs. Like that. And yeah, I believe that's it for this side. And then we'll add in a stone bun diagonal to this window like that. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make uh, the business end car. You would just copy the gangway for the front. All right, so now let's make uh, the regular business class car. So let's go right over here. And we're going to add delete this block. Delete the block underneath it. Delete these two blocks. Delete these two blocks. Add in light blue concrete, two of them here. And then one top part, another one behind this, another one outside. Then polish andesite slab one here, another one down here, light blue concrete here, light blue concrete on the outside, and then polish andesite stairs facing towards each other. Just like that. And then on the other side, we'll add a uh, light blue concrete here to our diagonal. Polish andesite block here. Prismarine brick stairs, polish andesite slab here. Two blocks tall, polish andesite blocks. 
and then add in stone bun down here and then a black stone bun that's got to line up with this box at the top and then we'll go back onto the other side add a spruce bun here and then a stone bun down here down to that window all right so yeah that's pretty much it for the regular business class car all right so now i'm going to make the quiet business class car so it's pretty much the same thing as the regular business class car we're just going to modify it so i'll just modify it right over here uh, we're pretty much going to uh, delete these three blocks here in the middle on the edge for both sides in the middle we'll add in a light blue concrete and do the same thing over here, like blue concrete. And this is going to be an oak stairs. Now we want the oak stairs, so the yellow parts on the outer edge. So just pretty much so we'll pretty much add it so it's like that. And the other side may be hard to place so you may have to delete blocks to add it or you can do it from like the roof area that could be easier as well just place it like that put it back in there you have your quiet car all right so that's how you make uh those all the three business class cars now let's go on and make the cafe car so this one's extensively designed on the roof so on the roof on this end uh, we'll just delete this in the middle, add a polish and a site block, flower pot in the middle of that. Then I'm going to add a light blue concrete uh, in this gap here, another one here, another one inside, another one inside here, another brick slab, another brick slab over here, um, polish and a site behind this one, uh, delete this one here, light blue concrete, polish and a site slab here. And then we want this two by two of light blue concrete, polish and a site slab here. Delete uh, these four at the bottom, light blue concrete inside, polish and a site stairs here, and then three polish and a site slabs. And make an L shaped light blue concrete right here. And we'll have to delete this window. And we'll add in light blue concrete here. Uh, lime concrete above, uh, polish andesite block, upside down polish andesite stairs, and a dark prismarine slab right there. Then we'll add in a spruce button right at the top of this window. And then we'll move this um, blackstone button to the right like that. Then we're going to skip five blocks here, punch in a hole. Blue concrete, polish and a side slab inside. And then we'll skip two blocks, punch in a hole. I'll make that six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll add in um, cyan concrete on the edges. And then four cyan concretes. Then we'll add in cyan concretes on the edges. Uh, polish andesite slab here, upside down polish andesite stairs on the side, and sand concrete in the middle of that. And we'll go off to this edge here. And I'm going to punch in a 2x2 two two hole here. And we'll add in a light blue concrete, another one outside part, another one down here, another one inside, another one inside, and then two polish andesite slabs like that. Delete these two at the bottom, add in light blue concrete, make an L shape. And we'll add in uh, polish and site stairs. A U shape right there, and then upside down right there. And then a birch fence gate, open that up towards the edge. Upside down, polish and site stairs right there. Change this into polish and site block like that. And then on top, we'll delete this block here. Add a polished blackstone slab, polish and site slab the outside, skip a block, polish blackstone button. Alright, now we'll go on to the other side. We'll add a light blue concrete here, another one diagonally down, polish and site slab, 
And we'll add in four light blue concretes. And delete this one here. Two light blue concretes inside. And um, let's polish anisite slab right here. And we'll change this into two polish anisite blocks. Delete this block here, delete the inside. And inside we'll add in a lime concrete. Polish anisite slab here. Delete the block down below, add a light blue concrete. And then we'll uh, delete the next four blocks here. Light blue concrete inside. And light blue concrete on this whole row, fill it all to the edge. Um, and then polish anisite slabs, three blocks long. And then polish anisite stairs right there. Stone button down below here. And then, and then a dark prismarine slab here. And then punch in a hole. And we'll add polish anisite block. And uh, yeah, like detector, make it blue. Change the top part, polish anisite block. And we're going to have to eliminate, uh, yeah, these two windows here. So just fill this whole edge part in. Polish anisite blocks. All the way down. So fills it in just like so. And then we'll also add in a blackstone bun right at the top of this. Just like so. All right, next up, we're going to skip five blocks here. Punch in a hole, add a blue concrete, and a polished anisite slab there. Then we'll go over here underneath this pillar, and we'll delete six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's say in concretes on the outer edges, and then three, I mean four in the inside part. Upside down polished anisite stairs here, and then polished anisite slab. So we'll also delete this block here, the glass pane, we're gonna change that to cyan. So it goes above the pillar, same thing on the other side. Make sure this pillar is cyan. All right, so back over here, we're gonna add in a uh, polished black of button right above this uh, window. We're gonna add in a uh, polished black of button, just one right over there. We're gonna add in a uh, light blue concrete, one inside. Then two diagonally down. Two on the inside. And then um, delete these two here and then make an L shape here. And then polish anisite stairs, make a U shape upside down here. And then polish anisite slabs and polish anisite block. Fill in this gap in like so. All right, so now let's work on the roof antennas. So the one we already have, we have to move it actually. So move this one, just one block this way. Let's polish it inside block. And we'll add in a lever. It's like that, it's a Sinclair antenna. Put an inside block in like that. Then go on the other side and we're gonna skip three blocks, punch in a hole. Skip two, punch in a hole. Skip two, punch another hole. And then make this like a V shape like that. Then here in the middle, skip three, add another one. So right here. And we'll add in polish inside blocks in the gaps. And flower pots on top of each of them. Ideally in real life, these things are all lined up, but in Minecraft, I want to have the like, spacing between, so I made it a little staggered. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the cafe car. Now let's go on to the final car, the first class car. This is the most expensive car. So let's go first right over here, delete these uh, four blocks. And we'll add in polish and site block inside of this. And we'll also delete these three blocks inside, add in uh, blue concrete three blocks wide. And two blocks wide, blue concrete at the bottom. And we'll add in polish and site block here. Uh, another one inside of here. Um, another brick slab here. Polish anisite slab, and then two polish anisite slabs at the top. Polish blackstone slab, upside down polish anisite stairs. And then we'll add a stone button down at the bottom. And then an acacia button right over here. 
Then on top, it's going to be a light gray carpet covering up all these areas. All right, then we're going to go on to the other side. Uh, we're going to delete um, these two by three here at the top. Add in um, blue concrete, two by two. Put the blue concrete here. And then um, polish anisite slabs, two here, one at the bottom. Side down polish anisite stairs. Uh, blue concrete right there. And then delete these two down here. Add uh, two orange concretes and then all the sites there's upside down. Make a one upside down, one right side up like that. So it looks like it's on a diagonal. Add a stone bun down here and then polish the site blocks fill in the rest of the gaps in like so. And go right above this window, add a polished black stone button right there. All right, next let's go on to the other side over here. Uh, we're going to delete this doorway thing. Same thing on the other side, actually. And then we'll add in um, this acacia slab. Um, and this um, polished anisite stairs facing towards the end. And a blue concrete. Two blue concretes here. And then go down and down. Another two here. Down and down. Another two here. Delete these two. And then another two on the inside of that. And then the other side, I think it's pretty similar. So um, blue concrete inside, polish inside stairs, um, acacia slab, delete this block here, delete this block here, two blue concretes, diagonally up another two blue concretes, polish inside blocks, two blocks long, delete this block over here, polish inside block inside. And diagonally down, um, another two blue concretes. And I believe there's blue concretes, two on each side, and there's going to be an inner part like this. And then uh, polish anisite stairs on the edges, polish anisite slabs next to that. Then next up on the inside of this, punch in a hole here, and we're going to add it upside down. Um, nether brick stairs like that. Other side, the same thing right here. And then um, it's gonna be black concrete inside of this. And the middle part is actually going to be blue concrete, if that makes sense. Sorry, this is like really bad. See blue concrete. You know what, we'll just make it a uh, blue concrete instead. Over on the inside part. Make sure you do that right. And then the top part is going to be upside down, um, polish anisite stairs like that. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll add in a wart fence gate underneath, open it up towards the edge. Other side, we'll do the same thing. All right, next up, we're going to add in um, dark prismarine slab right there. And another dark prismarine slab right there. And we'll add a birch bun here. Warp button next to that. Other side, same thing. Uh, two uh, polish anisite blocks inside like that. And delete this block here, delete this block inside, add it. Polish anisite block, and then dark prismarine slabs in these little gaps. And then we'll change this uh, glass pane into a blue glass pane. The other side is going to be blue as well, like that. And then we'll add in, we'll delete these two here, add a blue concrete. And then we'll add in um, polish anisite stairs at the edges and slabs on the inner parts of it like that. And a blackstone button going to be right up towards the top like that. All right, next we'll go on top of this part, cover this up, light gray carpet. Also add a blackstone button right above this part here. So that's how you make the first class car and the end of this all the cars designs. Now you can assemble your full Amtrak SL Express.
Thanks a lot to Victor for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys are interested in commissioning a build, check out the link in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.